Like most pet owners, more resident Rosemary Carlson loves her dogs, all five of them. She has a big yard and needs every square inch of it. Her troop is athletic to say the least. But this athleticism comes into good use when combined with the breed's innate hunting abilities. Rosemary's dogs are all Weimaraners. How'd you lose all the toys? Go find a toy. When I was a little girl, we always had dogs, usually like rat terriers or something like that. Somehow, in 1954, my folks obtained a Weimaraner, um, which, since 1954, there's been a Weimaraner around one way or the other in my life, and it's led me down lots of paths. Like this one. And we found a bird. At this level, that's all it that counts. Rosemary is a certified American Kennel Club hunt test and field trial judge. Basically, she travels the country critiquing dogs' abilities to track, point, and follow proper protocol in the sport of bird hunting. So there are certain things that we look for. We look for style. We look for a dog that looks good out there running, looks happy, um, looks like he knows what he's doing. When he goes on point, uh, is intense, you know, wants to get that bird but doesn't. There are three levels in the hunt tests, junior, senior, and master. Each level gets more difficult. You can jump right in at the master level if you think you're that good, or you can just work your way up through junior, seniors, master. Each one just requires a more finished product. And in this part of the country, Rosemary is one of the best at determining what that finished product should look like. Of course, she's had quite a bit of experience. The rows of ribbons she herself has won over the years is impressive. I started out basically as a dog show type person, and we hunted with them. As the years went by, I raised some good puppies. Uh, I was mentored by good people. Um, I grew in the breed and in our National Weimaraner Club. I obtained for several years the title of president of the Weimaraner Club of America. Along the way, she continues to mentor the next generation of hunters, like the folks at this recent hunt test. Down, down. Good boy. That's just so if you're far away, you can still get him to do what you want with the hand signals. I use hand signals a lot. Sit. Good boy. Hunt him up. Let's go. When a hunter feels they and their dog are ready, they can participate in a hunt test. Judges like Rosemary saddle up and ride into good viewing areas where they can watch and critique the action. A dog should perform in a certain manner on the test. They should be able to locate good bird habitat, point when they pick up the scent, and then perform according to a standard protocol, much of which has been handed down for hundreds of years since the sport's origin in Europe. One mess up, and it could be back to the drawing board for a dog and its owner. Needless to say, a test can be stressful. Most of the judges that I work with, we like to help the person out, especially if it's a new person down at that lower level, and talk to them about what they just did. On this particular hunt day, some of the handlers found success, gaining certification to move on to the next level and acquiring a feeling of pride shared between dog and owner. If his dog did well or started to recognize and he saw improvements or he saw what his dog could do or, or we, you know, passed, gave him a passing score because the dog worked well, um, he's probably hooked. And seeing this success can hook the judges too. Rosemary has gone so far as to obtain her own horse and travel trailer just to fulfill her judging duties. And she needs them. She gets requests to judge from far and wide. Kentucky anyway and Tennessee both, uh, up in Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, I believe, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, um, down in this area, uh, New Mexico, Texas. Which makes it almost a full-time volunteer job. Of course, that dedication ties back to a love of the sport and a love of the dogs. If you own a Weimaraner or other hunting breed, Rosemary says there's a good chance it still has that genetic longing for the hunt. It just needs an opportunity to try it out, and maybe some training. That's where organizations like the American Kennel Club and area breed clubs come into play. They can put pet owners in touch with trainers, 
judgings and other events that might help convert a household pet into a mighty hunter and perhaps turn their owners onto the scent of a new pastime. For more information, check out the American Kennel Club's website at akc.org.